We live, we die. What's the purpose of life? Brother Reddy gonna show you on the Deen Show. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. That's the greeting of peace. Peace be unto you. Welcome to another episode of the Dean Show. I'm excited, very excited. As you can see, I'm even sweating. And it's not too hot in here. I'm just excited. And you're going to be excited because we bring you a treat once in a while. And this is that time that we're going to bring you another treat. We have Hussein Yi, who is here on the Dean Show, who's going to be telling us his story on how he came to Islam. When we come back here on the Dean Show, you don't want to go nowhere. This is the Dean, the Dean Show. us here on the Dean Show, Sheikh Hussein Yi. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be unto you. And to you too, brother. Now, now okay, see, they, they, they looking at you and they think, you know, this is uh, Mayagi's son, you might do some special move here. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> you got to do a lot of movement for the yes. sake of Allah now. So, they were, are, so are you involved in martial arts? Yeah, on and off, yes, inshallah. Now, were you the one that starred in The Karate Kid? Wax on, wax off. Hat on, wax off. Hey, wax on, hat. Wax off, hat. Concentrate. Look at my eye. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was I'm a very, that. very popular movie. Yeah. And they used to have, it was um, Muyagi, he was like the grandmaster. No. And you had Karate Kid. So he came to, what, they were picking on him, bullying him. And, and people remember, wax on, wax off. Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that yeah, movie? Yeah, they said every, every haraka is baraka. Every, uh, <laughs> they mean every movement, there's always some blessing. Yes, yes, yeah. mashallah. You have a unique story because you came from a Buddhist background, is that it? Yes, no. So the viewers now, we, we get to speak to a lot of people who came from the Christian background, but now this is unique. I've actually never interviewed someone who came from a Buddhist background. No. Talk to us. Tell us a little bit about your story before Islam. Yeah, alhamdulillah, I've been, uh, been born uh, from a Chinese family where we know majority of the Chinese, they are Buddhist, or either they are Taoists or Buddhist, and uh, some of my family members, they are Buddhist. And uh, as a Buddhist, we know that uh, if you understand the teaching of Gautama Buddha, then you understand how this word Buddha derived from. Mm -hmm. Now it derived from the word of Buddha, meaning uh, before Gautama become uh, 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 been enlightened. So he was uh, looking for something. The Buddha. Buddha. What was his real name? Gautama. 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 So it's Gautama. And that's what it's named after. Then after is uh, Buddha is not his name. Buddha is a title given to him. What does that title mean? The title derived from the word Buddha means the awakening. Awakening. Awakening that he was looking for something. So say his name again one more time. Uh, Guatama. Guatama. Yeah, he was looking for something from some kind of enlightenment. Okay. So the awakening of him looking for something that is missing in his life is called Buddha. Boot. In the Sanskrit word. And that again means? Boot means uh, awakening. 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 So he had an awakening, a boot. Yeah, he had the boot. He had the boot. And then later on, he, wo he got to leave the palace because he's a, he was a prince. Oh, he was a prince. He was a prince. So he had the cash and money, oh, he had but life. he's missing something. He's missing the spiritual thing. Yes. So he knows something is missing in his life. Uh -huh. you know? So he left the palace, and that's where he started his journey the journey to look for the truth. And he was, he encountered a lot of other Hermes or so-called saints at that time. People who isolate themselves in the, in the forest, you know, just by themselves, keeping their hair long, their nails uncut. You know. 
but he he's not attracted to that kind of of, of practice. Yes, if it is it's not real, mm -hmm. you know. So he was looking and looking, and nobody can explain to him. Nobody can give him guidance, and that's why he meditated under a bu tree. Uh, under what kind of tree? A bu tree. They call it a bu tree. Yeah. Because if you go back to the history of all these prophets, all prophet will have to go through this kalua. They call kalua. Mm -hmm. Means a kind of seclusion. Seclusion. And uh, so what happened to Guatama? He was meditating under the bu tree, looking for an answer, looking for something. He wanted to know the real life. What is life after death? And uh, from there he was enlightened. And when he received the enlightenment, then he was given the title Buddha. What was this enlightenment that he had, that he experienced? Enlightened that he experienced that he, he understand what is life now. He know what is life. Life is a mission. It's something that you must do here before you meet the Almighty God. So he believed in a God? He believed in God. Because it's, so, it's so uh, interesting. Before you come to understand about Buddhism, normally people say, Gautama Buddha or Buddhism have nothing to do with God. It's a way of life. Now hold on, you were like a, were you actually like a, what do you call him, a monk? Like a Not really a monk, but I do get involved very closely. You were very involved, yeah. so you knew the, their teachings very yes. well. No. Yeah. Now how were you, because you were obviously looking to get enlightened, so before you learned all of this, what was, your, what was your faith before? Now, I was, uh, as a Chinese descendant, you always mix. You have uh, Buddhist, Taoist, and also some of us are Christian. Later on, I became a Christian. So wait, what were you first? What was your family, your mother and father? Family, they are all Buddhist. 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 So you were born into a Buddhist family. Buddhist family. Okay, so now the Buddhist family, okay, they're, they're following these teachings. But this is very interesting because, yeah. like you said, I want, I want to, uh, if you can elaborate on this a little more, because most Buddhists, they say that there is There's no, no God. God. There's yeah. no. So this, this is, is false. No, this is not true. This is what we taught. Yes. But there's nothing to do with the teaching of Gautama Buddha. If you are fair enough to go back to the history of, of Gautama Buddha, then you will come to a conclusion that he do not deny God. You got to go back and study the... Yeah in his dharma, that the teaching of Gautama Buddha is always called dharma. That's dharma their, is their doctrine. That's their doctrine? Their doctrine. Okay. Yeah, their books, they have their book. There are many books, but normally when they talk about books, they talk about dharma. Uh -huh. And then if you look at this teaching, the dharma always start with karma. 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 Karma, if you look in the, teach, the Islamic term, is about faith, about what is being fated by God. You just got to accept. Now, what is going to happen to you? But we always, what they teach is like what goes around comes around. This is like the karma. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it like you do something good, at the end of the day, you'll be rewarded accordingly. Yes. You see, only they, they, they explain in a different ways. Yeah. But all come back to the qadar and qadar. If you compare with what Islam say about karma, it's about qadar and qadar. So what we say is the destiny, same thing as the... Yes, the it's the karma. 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 Okay, let, let's hold off right there. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back on the Dean Show.